Welcome to The Advocate, your Sunday reminder that important conversations are among the necessary tools for a sinner society. I will be talking about Nigerian independence and solving chronic illness of the past. If Pastor Elijah Oluwakayode will be talking about Nigeria, a great country. Comfort Boots will be talking about her short letter to Mama Africa. We'll be right back after the break. Stay with us. The Action Group, AG, supported primarily by the Yorubas of the West, at the National Convention of Nigerian Citizens, NCNC, whose prime support came from the Igbos of the East. These parties expect the whole country quickly to follow the Ghana pattern of constitutional change. But any elective central assembly was born to be dominated by the North, which had 57% of the population and whose economy and social development had lagged far behind. The North's political leaders, most of whom were conservative Muslim, aristocrats closely aligned with the British through indirect rule, were not all eager to see their traditional paramount, paramount invaded by aggressive and bitter educated leaders from the South. The first political expedient was to convert Nigeria into a federation of three regions. In 1957, this allowed the East and the West to achieve internal self-government without waiting for the North. But it left open the question of how politics were to be conducted at the center and how Nigerian independence was to be secured. At this juncture, it occurs to the Northern leaders that by aligning themselves to one of the Southern parties, they might maintain the local monopoly of power and gain prestige in the country as a whole by asking for its independence, hence the emergence of the Northern People's Congress, NPC, from the North, and the National Council for Nigeria and the Cameroons, NCNC. The problem of central polities does resolve when the Northern leaders enter a coalition federation government with the NCNC. And in the 1960s, Nigeria became independent. Without doubt, ideology, cultural heritage protection, power control, among others, have reshaped happenings in the government evolution from regional to central to military-led administrations, and finally, the current democratic dispensation with a lot of wounds created without proper healings. Our diversity has aided the versatility in the way we ensure results are delivered in unique ways. It is necessary we focus more on understanding the strengths in our diversity, learn from the errors of myopia political sentiments, seek forgiveness where necessary, and work towards building a better country. There are three major regions in Nigeria, if operating in unity, we manifest our true potential as a country. The time is now, most especially as we head towards a change of government. Well, what, what you've said is a description of how we got to where we are. Exactly. But the question I always ask, because we've heard this narrative over and over again, but the question I ask is, do we learn anything from this story whenever it's told? Because we have, we've not been able to properly analyze our situation as a people. These are my views. Okay. Now, where we are as Nigeria, where we were back then, many countries uh, many di that had diverse cultures mm -hmm. were there at some point. Exactly. But at a the time, they got to realize that, listen, we need to live beyond the regions we represent. Mm -hmm. There is a nation that must be built. Fortunately or unfortunately for us, yes, we have education, Yes, we have so many things, but we have not been able to forge ahead as a nation. So, um, just before uh, we have comfort to have our own view, I think what is missing is actually the goal. You know, if, you, uh, if we try to narrow it down, mm. the region are actually fighting for the goal, for the good development of their people, which is a That's goal. That's before. Which is the not goal. Not now. That's what I'm saying, which is the goal. 
the, 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 the goal was to protect, individual goal was to protect my people, right? It happens in uh, all the regions. And if we all understand that we are fighting for the same thing, the same goal, it will help us to move ahead. Mm. But what we are now saying is, we are fighting for the same goal. At the same time, we are saying it must be somebody from my own region. Yeah, but if, even to beyond, fight for the goal. Even beyond that, one of the things that I see is that listen, whether we like it or not, um, uh, colonialism and a fight for independence and all that happened. You see, each of the regions found it more convenient aligning with the West than aligning with any other region. Okay. It was because of the approach. What we fail to do is to come up with an approach that shows seeming sincerity. Because the sincerity of the West there wasn't really sincerity, but it was enough to make you down your tools and say, okay, uh, let me align with you. What we've not been able to do, and it might be because of our cultural values, which brings about pride, which brings about a very high uh, esteem and all that. And the West have been able, what they understood was make them feel good. Make your chief feel good, okay. and he downs his tool. But for us, we are not able to say, okay, let me... You see, there's this addict that says, uh, if you want to catch a monkey... You uh, act like a you monkey. Act, you, yeah, I mean, you act like a monkey, or you break banana, banana you play with exactly. all those things. We've not been able to come together. And that's why you... Rea and that's why to your date, it's even gotten worse because our greed, our selfishness, bad leadership, poor development of the local community has made it such that... So many parts of Nigeria are not developing. Okay. And now people have to move from their place of comfort and pride. Mm -hmm. This is where I come from. They have to go to another city to make a living. And mm. when they get to that place, because of their normal pride, they come up with the same pride. And then you have another uh, sectoral clash in that city. So mm. we, we need to come to an ex extent where we need to come together as a people. First of all, identify that, okay, it's like you've been shut up in a room. Mm. For us to come out of this room, we must work together. Mm. And that is where we are now. We need to work together as a people. So I, so I, I agree with you. And I, I think before we can actually get to that point, we need to undergo a healing process. I, I, I will tell you why. You see, uh, the, the formation of Nigeria came from the three major re regions, which is the NCC, uh, NCNC, MPC and Ashen. Mm. But if you look at 1966 school, it redefined every other thing. So that means the Northerners are aggrieved because people that are aligned with the Northerners are actually uh, more of the people that went with the coup, right? And there was a retaliation coup, you know, back and forth. So everybody has not actually take responsibility of their lapses. Mm. Nobody is perfect. Mm. And now today you see an Aousa man, seeing an Igbo man as a threat. The mm. same thing you see in Yoruba, because we've not healed. I, I, we have our fathers, mm. stories upon stories. You see the Biafra agitation. You know, it, it, if you look clearly, you see that Biafra agitation is only talking about the federal character. That why will the federal character favor a part? Mm. Say the Southerners are the Southeast and South South. Are, are one. Mm. Southwest are also one, but all of them are certain. That means we have the South to be three huh? as against two before. Mm -hmm. Now, we now have the North to just be one. But that's not true. You understand? So, what I'm saying is, yeah. we have the Northern part, the Southern part. When you are giving quota system, you give it to the North, the equal amount to the North, you will give equal amount to the South. So by the time you share it, the North tends to have... And, and you see, that, that's lot why, of, before, before comfort comes in, right? That's yes, why please. I believe that, yes, we need a healing process, but we need beyond that. We need to face the fact wake up and smell the coffee. Number one, even based on what you're saying, mm -hmm. the North, those who are in the North, if they tell you the differences are in the North, mm -hmm. you will marvel. The differences and the clashes between the Fulanis and the Aousas, the Kanuris and, and every other tribe. There are so many tribes in the North. Mm -hmm. But what they've been able to do is that they've been able, they are able to come together when it comes to leadership. Why? Because the people have come to realize and they sing one song. Mm. In the South, our pride, and one of the challenges we have in the South, which is what I see, is that we were educated early, 
but we had the wrong education. Mm, mm. So the education we had then made all of us feel like kings in our own parts. So the east, the, the Easterners feel we are kings, we have this. The Southerners, the Westerners feel we are kings, we have this. Mm. Unlike the North where the education did not really permeate, so they still had the rural communal ideology. Mm. And they believe that, okay, let us forge ahead as a people. For us here, it is difficult to move. In the, if you hear today, people are telling you that, okay, uh, the, even the ruling party might not give it to the Southerner because of the North. You see, that mentality, that belief system mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. still there. Exactly. You get, but for us, the idea, and that's why it is easier for uh, an Easterner to move with a Northerner and a Westerner to move with a Northerner. Mm -hmm. Because the Northerner is, it has a lesser fair attitude. He's ready to move with everybody. Mm -hmm. As long as you're, you, you, you're, not, you're not too oppressive, he's ready to move with you. But these two guys feel, I am big, you are big. Mm. You must, like you say, you're about to say, so that for me, you we must. need to heal. Uh, yeah. So, but the healing, we need, mm. that nurse really is not healing. That is sensitization. Okay. Because healing is, you've heard me, and, and when we talk healing, I know comfort to come in now, she has a lot to say, but let me say this quickly. <laughs> when you talk healing, look at, these problems have been there forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the 80s, it was tough. Now, between the 90s and now, mm -hmm. okay, in the 80s, it was tough for a Yoruba person to marry an Igbo person. Exactly. For an Igbo to marry a Hausa or anybody. It was a very tough thing. Even when you get there, you are not mm. respected mm. by the mm. family and exactly. all that. Now, between yeah. the 90s and now, it is easier to mm. marry across Nigeria. Mm. We have an increase in cross-cultural marriages, mm. yet mm. we are saying we can't live together. That's why I believe that while we need a healing, especially with those that are now spreading falsehood, Mm. We still now need to sense that ourselves that what is your problem? Exactly. If you believe you, this guy doesn't like you, why have you increased the cultural marriages and you're getting yeah, married and you're so exactly. you, so it's that's why I said we need to wake up and smell the coffee. What we, the think, what we think exists doesn't really exist. Mm. We're mm. just impeding our growth as a nation. Because mm. a lot more Yorubas are marrying Igbos. A lot more Aousas mm, are marrying mm. Igbos. A lot more Igbos are marrying Efik. We are marrying ourselves. Mm. More, and that is where it is more dangerous. Being able to cohabit in a home and have it. And a lot of them have happy homes. Exactly. Exactly. So comfort. let us have comfort view on this. Uh, what exactly do you want me to say? Because this country, every time we talk about it, it's just, it's a confounding issue. Now, you have even gone to, as far as now talking about, and I love the way you ended on the issue of intertribal marriages. Mm -hmm. That what is the driving force? And you see, this is, it, it, it should be studied. It's a very good question. I agree. Why are the tribes finding it easier to intermarry, but refusing for it to show in our political, exactly. our economic mm -hmm. lives and social lives, even our social mm -hmm. lives. Why, mm -hmm. as you've asked, is it is she, because this person is from the South, East, <laughs> I'm not going to vote him because I'm a Northerner. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to vote this person because he's a Northerner. How come it's easier to do that? But meanwhile, in their houses, mm -hmm. they have that, they have the relations, the relations that are married. In fact, you hear them posting, ah, my, my father married an Igbo woman. Uh, ah, uh, my, mm -hmm. my brother is married to an Efik woman. My, my, my house brother is married to an Efik woman. So I, I think it's not something lightly we should take, but we should look at it. You, we should, there's, there needs to be some empirical study about it. Mm. But if you go down again to another point that you made, Kaide, about how the three tribes behave, the most consistent tribe among the three is the Hausa, is the Hausa yes. tribe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they are focused, they have one interest, is power. Mm. How to get it, how to hold it. Mm -hmm. And they don't pretend about it. Mm -hmm. And you see, when you are sure about what your goal is, what you are hoping to achieve, as you said, I'm not going to, as you said, they're going to have an attitude of Whoever is ready to work with me according to this, my, my interest, so, yes. this is my interest. As long as you don't mm -hmm. come to impede it, yeah, we will exactly. be going. But once you begin to impede it, we won't. I like the way you said also about the Igbos. Igbos are in silos. The Northerners are not. The Northerners are a community. Mm -hmm. they, and that is how you perpetuate power. Because there are, there's hierarchy. But with the Igbos, every man is a lord unto himself. Mm. So how do you... So there isn't a central holding... Yeah, mm. there isn't a there isn't a center that holds. If all of us are gods in our own mm. in our own right, as opposed to as I said, where there's a community and there are you know there's the the, the orgas at the top and then the serfs. Mm. 
the followership. So the mm -hmm. followership will follow the, the leaders. You have a pyramid. You go to the uh, southwest, as you said, and they are more what educated. And if I'm educated, you're educated. Uh, what am I? Uh, what am I beholden to? <laughs> now, unless as you, no, it's true. And as long as 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 you said, unless all these individual um, regions, all the the regions as we have um, broken them down now, southwest, south east, south south, south north east, north blah 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 blah, have one unifying factor. We will never get it right. Mm -hmm. Even the so-called religion that we are shouting is not what is, is, is still polarizing. You would have thought that all of us, since we all in quotes love God, Daddy, we are religious. Every small thing is about God. You would have thought that that should be our rallying point, isn't mm. it? But because there are different forms of expression, everybody is saying, I, I, "I believe in God in this way, I believe in God that way." It is even the one that has polarized us the more. So, what exactly then is going to hold? the six regions for, for the purposes of this conversation together. We don't have patriotism. We're not patriotic. Mm. Mm. We don't think that we don't think that we should think all collectively for the future of the country. We don't. Everybody is in silence. So I really do not see how these chronic illnesses of I won't even give the past here. How long are we going to dwell in the past for crying mm. out loud? Mm. How long? You mean up to now? And um, um, both people and um, both sides have not understood what even the tenets of their own religions teach, which is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. There has to be a place where it ends for it to say, okay, we are hurt, we are healing, but we, for the better good of the majority, we've let this go. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy to break it to you that I don't see it in the nearest future. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> th th thank you, Comfort. I think um, one unique factor, jokingly, it would be money, if I have to say, because <laughs> when, you see the, <laughs> when you see the legislator, the, le uh, the, the executive talking money in the yeah, house, they, they there, is, there is nothing like uh, religion, there is nothing like tribal and stuff mm -hmm. like that. That's one unique factor. So I think we should be looking at business to unify us. Probably we should as individual, as a country, we should yeah. think about solving problems that but, will be giving some, some uh, money back to this legislature. We, we need to look for a way around that because even in business, you are allowed to bring my brother and you like to bring your brother in. So we are fighting over who to dominate that business as well. Uh, but <laughs> 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 Exactly. That, that's, that's it. Yeah, but yeah. technology, when you in, introduce technology, it makes everything obvious. Mm. Who is dragging the team backward mm. and we can actually uh, move, forward, uh, from move forward from that. Mm. So, Olukayode is next. Stay with us after the break.